أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري واخل رجة من لساني يفقه قولي أمري رب مرسينا أمري لي قول دي اور میرے کام کو مجھ پر آسان کر دے اور میری زبان کی تیرہ بھی کھول دے تاکہ لوگ میری اچھی طرح بات سمجھ سکیں I have started the solution of O-level papers My channel name is Zafir Mass My contact number is 0302892958 You can contact on my number Now I am going to start question number Question number 4 part 3 Tara takes two of the ten cards at random At random she can choose any card without replacing it in the part number two she has replaced this card in part three she is not going to replace the card what is the probability work out the probability that at least one of the card is greater than seven first of all we have to write the cards which are greater than seven if you see that greater than seven is eight nine and ten these are the three cards which are greater than seven. So first of all, we have to write this set as with any letter A, B, C, D, E, any letter. We can write it. I am going to write this event as E1. That first card greater than seven is E1. Greater than seven or eight, nine, ten. These are three cards. The second card is greater than 7. As she is not going to replace this card, so the cards will be decreased. As there were 10 cards in the uh, in the packet, after choosing the first card, one card will be decreased as she is not going to replace. So, if the card number is 8, first card, the first chord was 8 so we have two chords remaining that 9 and 10 so probability of event f1 we will write it the second chord is greater than 7 as 8 chord is she has taken and 9 and 10 chords were remaining in the packet we will write it at f1 so probability f1 is equal to 2 by 9 we will divide it by number of values in the sample space as there were number of chords 7 after the choosing the first chord and she is not going to replace chord will be decreased at first total number of chords were 10 and after choosing the first chord and she is not going to replace the chords will be decreased and we have 9 chords in the packet so As we have to calculate two chords which are greater than seven, so we will multiply it probability of E1 with probability of F1. Probability of E1 is equal to 3 by 10 and probability of F1 is equal to 2 by 9. So we will simplify it 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 and 10 multiplied by 9 is equal to 90. As we have to calculate at least one chord is greater than 7 so this is the first chance or first case second case that first chord is greater than 7 as we have 10 chords and greater than 7 or 8 9 and 10 probability of e1 is equal to 3 by 10 as we have calculated in the uh, first case now she will not replace this card and card will be decreased as our requirement is at least one card is greater than seven in first case we have calculated both cards are greater than seven now in second case first card is greater than seven and second is not greater than seven first of all you have to uh, realize what what she is doing what he is asking in paper he, he is asking at least one card is greater than seven 
इट मीन्स बोस कॉर्ड इज रिटन सेवन और वन कॉर्ड इज रिटन सेवन एंड सेकेंड इज नॉट रिटन सेवन सो आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द सेकेंड कॉर्ड इज नॉट रिटन सेवन इफ नंबर इज नॉट रिटन सेवन दैन we will write second chord is not written seven is one two three four five and six and seven so these chords are not written seven one two three four five six and seven now we have to calculate the probability at as there was ten chord in the packet and we have chosen one chord which was given seven and we have remaining uh nine chords now in our packet and probability of f1 will be number of values in f1 divided by number of values in sample space which is equal to 7 by 10 and probability of e1 multiplied by f2 we will write this set as f2 which is which will not be similar to the first case so we have to calculate the first chord is written 7 and second is not written 7 we have to multiply these probabilities probability of written 7 is 3 by 10 and probability of not written 7 is equal to 7 by 9 we have to simplify it Three multiplied by seven is equal to twenty-one. Ten multiplied by nine is equal to ninety. This is the second case. Now, third case, first chord is not greater than seven. If the first chord is not greater than seven, which means chord is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and we will write is as E two probability of E two will be number of values in the uh, event E two divided by number of values in sample space. Number of values in sample space was ten, so probability of E two is equal to seven by ten. Now the second chord is greater than seven. If the first chord is not greater than seven, then second chord will be greater than seven. As our requirement is at least one chord is greater than seven. It means both chords. Greater than seven, we have calculated in first case. In second case, we have calculated the probability that first chord is greater than seven, second is not greater than seven. In third case, first chord is not greater than seven, and second is greater than seven. Seven greater than seven or eight, nine, and ten. F one is the event, and probability of F two is equal to number of values in F. Two divided by number of values in sample space, which is equal to three by nine. As we have chosen first chord and not going to replace it uh, after choosing the first chord, so chords will be decreased in this second chord chosen. So number of chords in the sample space is nine. So three divided by nine is the probability of F two. Now we have to calculate the first chord is not greater than seven and second is greater than seven. We have to multiply it seven by ten multiplied by three by nine. So seven multiplied by three is equal to twenty one and ten nine is ninety. We have calculated all the cases. Now we have to add these cases. First chord, uh, first case was six by ten, uh, six by ninety, sorry, and second case was twenty one by ninety, and third case is twenty one by. 90 as divisor is same so we can add the numerators 6 plus 21 plus 21 which is equal to 48 48 by 90 now we will simplify it and after simplification we are we have to properties uh, 8 by 50 if you like my video you can forward it and uh, you can press bell icon if you will not press the bell icon then you cannot receive notifications about the uh, submission of o level papers and if you will press the bell icon you can receive the bell icons after uh, notifications and you can see my lectures i am going to try it make it very easy for you 
جزاک اللہ